Good evening. Thanks for being here tonight. We are into the second week of the Vancouver Olympic Games, and even though Canada now has officially given up hope of opening the podium, Victoria has won gold. There is no better tourism promotion than word of mouth. And wait until you hear what they are saying about Victoria on NBC's Today Show. The crew came down from Grouse Mountain today to show their huge American audience why Vancouver Island is a side trip that Olympic visitors must take. So where in the world is Matt Lauer? Today he and his co-hosts were discovering what makes this such a great place. A news reporter Mary Beth Burton was there with them. She has exclusive details. Mary Beth. Hudson, there wasn't a lot of time on the ground for the stars of the NBC Today show. About an hour in Victoria, but they did get to see both the traditional side and a bit of our urban edge. <laughs> When the stars of the Today Show arrive in Victoria, the staff at the Empress rolls out the red carpet, literally. Is there anybody left in the hotel? <laughs> the regal welcome started Saturday when anchor Ann Curry came to Victoria on her day off. I uh, was able to uh, introduce myself and show around the hotel a little bit, and she was uh, thrilled to see the building and the history of the building and uh, has decided to come back. Now everybody, back to work! <laughs> come back, Curry did, with her high-profile friends and a large camera crew. The Victoria segment airs Tuesday morning on the Today Show. This morning on Today, Canada's gold medalist Alex Bilodeau appeared. For the duration of the Olympics, the popular morning show is live on Vancouver's Grouse Mountain, and its hosts have been generously talking up BC. I'm not saying this because the camera's rolling and that we were just talking about this. We are in love with Vancouver. We are absolutely in love with it. We've been talking, we've been saying things like we could move here, we could retire here. I think it's one of the most sophisticated yet yet incredibly laid back outdoor oriented cities I've ever been to. The NBC team arrives mid-morning for high tea, but the time is no trouble for the staff. The tea lobby is filled with actors. It's definitely before tea service, but uh, we have so many great ambassadors in this city, and uh, we've called on them before, and uh, it was just the magic of one quick phone call, and they're, they're at our beck and call. For 102 years, tea has been served at the Empress, but it's probably never been sipped so quickly. The beverage barely cools on Matt Lauer's lips before the busy broadcasters are ushered off. You know, we do have a lot of people who watch the show, and but we only, we're only honest. We never rave about some place if we don't like it. So now that we all rave about Victoria and, and Vancouver, I hope a lot of people will come from the States and sample this. On a fabulous sunny February day, the city sells itself. Having uh, the Today Show covering our beautiful destination is just worth more than we could ever hope for in terms of any consumer efforts that we might have done on the ground in Vancouver. As the NBC anchor team makes its way through the Inner Harbor, food is definitely on their minds today, from high tea at the Empress to fish and chips for lunch. Redfish Bluefish, a small shack with a large following of happy customers, is eating up big time exposure. Well, they had like a sampling of everything we do here. So they had uh, fish and chips and uh, soup and uh, chowder and uh, mushy edamame, tempura pickle. Al Roker served his colleagues and made new fans. Al Roker. Uh, oh, yeah, he, like he was Al really Roker. chatty. He's and, the man. Yeah, he's the man. If he's the man, Victoria has also chosen the woman. Yeah, I really like Ann Curry. I've been watching her for a long time. I think I'd have to go with Ann Curry. She was so sweet and just uh, really funny and quirky. And we delivered news, too, that Canada conceded it won't be beating the Americans at the podium. I think Germany has a chance to catch us. There's no question about it. We, I have to say, I'm sorry, we were a little proud of our US Team USA last night in hockey. But it's early, and Canada's still very much in it. We could face you again in a medal game, and uh, so we're not getting cocky, I promise you. We did, I'm glad. You I'm made glad. our day. Bye. Gracious to everyone, the Today Show team boards a float plane heading back to Vancouver and the Olympics. But for today, Victoria can enjoy gold medal-worthy coverage from NBC. The staff at the Empress tell me the last time a big-time American news anchor came to town to visit them was Joan London in the 1980s. Her picture's been hanging up in the hotel ever since. Well, now they have a no new picture to hang up in the hotel. Here they sent me a copy of it. It's the photo with the Today Show staff. And one more story to leave you with. Al Roker, so humble, was also in Victoria this past Saturday. He had a scheduled flight late afternoon on West Coast Air, but there was an emergency for one of the passengers on a later flight, so he gave up his seat. And Hudson, you're probably wondering, how did he spend the two hours waiting for the flight? He had fish and chips at Redfish Bluefish. Are you seeing a theme here? Yeah, fortuitous for them. Well, you know, I've been watching a lot of Olympic coverage, and I watched the Today Show in the morning, and, and their spot up on Gross Mountain has been terrific for them, and their coverage has been absolutely uh, first rate. They are amazing, nice people. Too. You can tell. They yeah. really like it here. All right, Mary Beth, thank you.